We're talking now about SAS 3.0, and so I'll just briefly share what is SAS 1.0 and 2.0, and then what's next. SAS 1.0 is the era that we define by aggressive adoption of software as a service primarily for business agility. And a lot of those deployments, they were point solutions. That was a very common adoption pattern, and still is. In fact, many of the clients we work with at Forrester, they're in SAS 1.0. SAS 2.0 is a trend we started tracking about four years ago. It was the idea that companies were now using SAS to power new business models. These many-to-many -many ecosystem models, such as uh, in-car advertising that connects the customer directly to the advertisers, maybe a restaurant or a coffee shop, while you're driving in your connected car. And you know that was really the beginning of what we call SaaS 2.0, that it's much more than just a faster, more agile application, but really the enabler for these new, oftentimes as a service, business models and oftentimes many-to-many -many connected ecosystems. But we believe we're now at the beginning of a third era and we're calling this SaaS 3.0. And this is an era in which artificial intelligence as well as other bleeding edge technologies around automation, blockchain, Internet of Things will become such a critical part of a leading SaaS platform that they'll enable companies to disrupt business models and compete in their industries and even adjacent industries in a completely new way. And we think that that will widen the gap between companies who really get it and get what the value of SaaS is and those who are still hesitating, toe in the water or risk averse and feel that SaaS won't fit the bill. So that's what we're encouraging our clients to think about is you know, where you're getting benefits because of the AI being truly embedded into the software as a service platforms. And let's face it, every SaaS vendor is talking about this, but the proof points are still pretty thin right now. So that will be something we're watching in the coming years.